I want to ask you something about healthcare. What do you think uh, should be the healthcare policy of the country? Let me tell you why I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you for one reason. Because you're mid 50s, early 50s? I'm 53. 53, and you fall into an interesting region. I'm 48. We fall into an interesting region where if we don't have insurance now, we have a problem getting insurance because of our age. And because we're not your age, we can't get Medicare. So what would be your solution to, the, to our health care problem? I do not have insurance. You do not? My wife does not have insurance. Why not? We are independent contractors, self-employed, and, uh -huh. uh, and financially right now we cannot afford that. I have a pre existing condition in the public houses. And until recently, until fairly recently, that was an uninsured, or you could no way afford the insurance to cover my pre-existing condition. Uh, my wife has been a cardiac care nurse forever, and she did her job a year ago. We've been working as independent consultants, and, and right now do not have interest. My solution is, is that you ought to have affordable insurance. The government can't run the post office. The government can't run any kind of program that doesn't have ways to. Obama in his speech the other day said, well, we're going to pay $500 million, or whatever, $500 billion for health care out of the wasteful spending in Medicare. Well, if there's that kind of money available, why hasn't he already done it? Why didn't Bush do it? Why is that kind of money available? And all of a sudden now he's discovered it's available. Um, I want affordable health care. I don't want the government running. I am. Uh, I'm taking my questioning and reporter hat off right now, but I'm going to leave it on tape anyway. I am sort of incredulous in that. Um, my wife has lupus, a pre-existing condition. We had to go into the Texas pool, which costs two and a half times normal insurance rates. I find that the insurance companies are some of the most deceiving, you know, uh, and their sole purpose is to charge, to make money off of our illness, right? Because that's what they do, collect money and then pay out the bill. And not pay when they don't? And not pay if they don't have to pay. I think any one of us can write a check and pay a bill. I don't know if that's asking the government too much to do. Uh, you don't have health insurance because of what insurance are charging for insurance. And that's the reason you don't have it, right? What would really be harmful if we somehow, forget about all the bad things the government do, I agree. What would be the problem if us getting one good thing that they do, pay a bill, so that you can afford insurance, Cody can, well, Cody's in. Cody may never need insurance now, he has but, in the past because but, he's had his arms. But what I mean, I need Cody, you and I as older folk need Cody to pay insurance because, you know, if Cody's not going to use as much as you and I are as being older because he's young and healthy, so we need to have Cody covered so that he can help pay for... Don't you agree with that at all? or Because that's what insurance is. Well, um, is an insurance where we pool our monies together so that whichever one of us is unlucky enough to get sick, we take money from that pool to pay for? I don't mind a pool like that at all. Uh -huh. But at the same time, all of us can afford insurance if the government wasn't taking 30 or 40 or 50 percent of our paycheck every day. We could pay for our own insurance however we wanted to pay for it. You really think so? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's
out. Yeah. And if I want to pay cash and the hospital's going to give me a break uh -huh. because I'm paying cash. Well, let me let me put it, let me ask the question a different way. But for those who um, you you know the debate on the public option and so forth, right? You know that right now they're considering whether to make put that in the bill or not. And what it's supposed to be is a choice that people would decide to make if they wanted it or not. Do you have a problem with people who may who may not have a problem with the government implementing a an insurance policy? If that insurance policy is self-sustaining by law, written into law, self-sustaining, do you have a problem with them establishing a public option? If it's not, if you are not going to pay for it, if you don't want to use it, do you have a problem with it? I wouldn't have a problem with that if it was self-sustaining. Okay, because that is what the attempt is right now. I don't know how it's going to be written, but that's, that is the attempt. In other words, I, I came here uh, uh, to watch, and I saw concerned citizens. I saw people that are really interested in the way things are. There are people that have other views. My question is, do you want to have your views only, or maybe allow for others as well, if it does not impact you? Of course. I mean, I, there was opinions here that I didn't agree with, mm -hmm. and they're their own opinions. I mean, as we leave here with some kind of conciliation or some kind of understanding, the way we approach it may be different. But as long as I'm not impacting him by my decision, right. Okay. As see, long as it's sustainable, we were talking about unsustainable growth. Spending. Yeah, exactly. So what I find is, you know, when you sit down and talk to people one on one and sit down and this, you can do so much. But it's it it seems like when we get the Vex and all these guys involved to rile things up and let put one man against the other, one race against the other, it seemed to create unnecessary conflict. A lot in your movement uh, that I've seen so far, um, I actually agree with, believe it or not. I saw you. Ah. I saw you agree with us. Oh, you did? When? Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so I mean, um, it has, I mean, there are very legitimate issues that need to be discussed, but I think the environment right now does not lend itself to do it. Because we have the people on the right going crazy, the people on the left going crazy. <laughs> you know, can't come together. You know, but thank you. It was a good day. It, uh, thank you for you know for having me over. Uh, the hospitality has been great. It was a pleasure talking to the Boons.